TFZR vacuum emulsifier is especially designed to adopt advanced technology from overseas according to cosmetic and ointment production technology. It is used to produce the cream product in the cosmetic factory and medicine factory and is specially used for emulsification of peptic material with high content of solids. The machine has easy operation, steady capability, good homogeneity, high efficiency, solid structure, small volume, high automation level and easily clean. The machine is made up of pretreatment tank, vacuum emulsification blending tank, vacuum pump, hydraulic system, pouring out system, electro control system and workable. The material is made from SUS 316L material. Mirror finished of the inside surface is 300 mesh. Composition of the emulsifier. 1. Emulsifying mixing tank. It has the structure of three layers, up and down ceiling heads. The down ceiling heads is connected with the tank by flange, and the thermal protective layer adopts PU form technique. There is high speed emulsifying mixing and forwards and reverse low speed mixing device in the tank. At the bottom of the tank, there are pneumatic discharge valve and temperature sensor. On the upper ceiling head, there are vacuum sensor, diagram vacuum meter, side glass, CIP purge valve, pressure valve, respiration device, accessories feeding valve, liquid feeding valve, and pneumatic valve for vacuum. When loading the material to the tank, the low speed mixture starts mixing the material in forward and reverse directions and the forward blade will make the material up and reverse blade will make the material down. At the same time, the scratch blade will scratch the material which stick on the tank wall. Materials are loaded into the emulsifier from up and bottom of the tank and it will be swung out in the middle by centrifugal force. And at the same time, the materials will be cut into very small granules under the effect of emulsifier head and emulsifier cover. 2. Vacuum system. It is made up of vacuum pump, vacuum buffer tank, check valve, vacuum meter, water pressure relay, vacuum pneumatic valve, water electromagnetic valve. At the beginning of the process, the pressure at the water inlet and air inlet is around 1 atm. When the vacuum pump starts, it will draw the air in the tank through a pneumatic valve, check valve, and vacuum buffer tank. The emulsifier will not cause any form under vacuum station. The vacuum meter displays the vacuum degree of the tank, and the vacuum protective sensor will keep the liquid pressure in normal state. 3. Hydraulic system. It is made up of hydraulic pump, hydraulic cylinder, reversing solenoid valve, overflow valve, upper limit switch, lower limit switch, discharge production range, safety switch. If the emulsifier tank is reset and there's no vacuum in the tank and the safety switch is in this position, the upper and down ceiling heads will start to move up and down. When the upper ceiling head reaches the up and low limit, the emulsifier tank becomes too lean, and in the tank there's vacuum protection. Everything will stop in the current position if the stop button in the HMI is pressed. 4. Discharge system. It is made up of discharge handle wheel, worn screw, worn wheel. When the emulsifier gets to the upper limit, forward swing the discharge hand wheel until the tank lean to the point that the upper is lower than the bottom discharge limit. And then reverse swing discharge handle wheel, the tank will reset to the normal state. 5. Blending system. It is made up of working platform, oil tank and water tank. The structure of the oil tank and water tank is made of three layers. 
upper half open lid, bottom ceiling head. The bottom ceiling head is connected with the flange type tank, and the thermal protective layer adopts PU form technique. Other components are a wave wheel mixing device in the tank, discharge valve and temperature sensor at the bottom of the tank, half open lid, mixing motor, inlet and round thermometer at the top of the tank. After opening the half open lid, the material must be loaded into the oil and water tank, and then it will start to mix. 6. Pipeline control system. It is made up of high pressure stainless steel tube, safety valve, manometer, pneumatic valve, and bleeder. When the steam and compressed air is normal, if the tank is heated, then the condensed water will be discharged from the bleeder after it goes through the pipeline, valve, and the jackets of the tank. If the tank is cold, then the cooled water will be discharged by the discharge outlet after it goes through the pipeline, valves, and lower hole of the jacket of the tank. When discharging water, the compressed air inlet from the jacket of the tank and will out the water in the jacket. Heat, cold, and discharge function cannot be displayed at the same time. It can only process one function at a time. 7. Electric control system. It is made up of PLC, circuit breaker, heat protector, touch screen, frequency converter, temperature transducer, electromagnetic valve. The touch screen will display control screen, parameter set screen, parameter updating screen, temperature curve screen, warning screen, password protection. On the function screen, we can enter into any screen and make any function control. Parameters can be easily changed from the parameter setting screen. Other parameters and functions are also displayed in the HMI. For example, review of current parameters, temperature of the tank, alarm record, and plotting of time temperature curves. Installation 1. Put six main machine pad well up to the main machine and the working table enter the workshop. And put the main machine on the pad. Then use level bar to adjust the level of the main machine. 2. Put the working table behind the main machine and put the stainless steel ladder by the side of the working table and the side of the ladder and the table should be in one line. 3. Connect the stainless steel pipe and compress the air pipe between the main machine and the working table and the wire between main machine and preparation tank room. And connect the steam pipe, water inlet pipe, water discharge pipe, condensed water discharge pipe, compressed air inlet pipe, and wire between the workshop and the immersifier. 4. The immersifier should keep a distance from the wall at least 0.5 meter. 1.0 meter if possible, in order to do maintenance and ease the clean process. Operation Instruction 1. Set all parameters on the touch screen after turning it on according to the required batch process. 2. Pre-treatment of material. Load the material to the oral tank or auto tank manually according to the required batch process and then touch the oral tank heat off or water tank heat off on the touch screen. And the oral tank or water tank will begin to heat. Touch the oral tank mix off or water tank mix off on the touch screen and the oral tank or water tank will begin to mix and the material to dissolve. Turn off the oral tank or water tank heat and mix button after the pre-treatment and continue to the next procedure. 3. Material feed into main tank. Check if the material after being dissolved meets the requirement of the batch process and then touch the vacuum pump off on the touch screen. When the vacuum degree reached a minus 0.06 ampa, open the feeding valve of the main tank and the valve at the bottom of the oil or water tank, and the material will be sucked into the main tank under the negative pressure of the vacuum. Close the feeding valve of the main tank and the valve at the bottom of the oil tank or water tank, then touch vacuum pump on bottom on the touch screen.